Hi, cozy friends, how are you? I wanted to do my own personal roundup of the cozy games I'm most excited for after the Wholesome Direct 2022. I had the absolute dream, the absolute pleasure of hosting a viewing of the Wholesome Direct on Wholesome Direct's official TikTok account. That was really fun. Um, it was kind of scary, but I waited to watch it. So now I'm kind of finally processing it after this week and I can finally share the games I'm most excited about. All right. Let's get started. Potion Permit immediately, I think, was my favorite. I don't know why. I think it's it's very similar to Stardew, it seems like, but you are a chemist in a town healing and diagnosing the townspeople, and you go around and you forage materials. It's very RPG style, similar to Stardew, so there's a lot of different elements to it, but the main goal is healing the townsfolk. It looks so fun and the animation style, the illustration, the art, it's its so good. The colors are so dreamy. I just feel like this will be such an immersive world, really similar to Stardew. And I hope you can romance people. I hope you can romance people. Potion Permit has a demo now. I will be demoing it for my cozy demos. If you don't know, I have a whole playlist of cozy demos. Absolutely, this will be one of them very soon. It's a 2022 release and it'll be out on on Mac and PC. The next is the spirit and the mouse. <sighs> this is 100% like Ratatouille. It's Ratatouille without directing another human under their chef hat. It is just a cute, wholesome Ratatouille. I mean, Ratatouille is cute and wholesome, but it is somehow even more wholesome Ratatouille. You're going around this French village doing good deeds for the townsfolk and just kind of exploring. Oh, it just looks so dreamy and like European and just something you can drop in and immerse in this French village. It looks so cute. This is a 2022 release, also with a demo now, so I, I, I will be demoing this as well. This will be out on PC and Switch. I'm loving the Switch love. I'm loving the attention to getting Switch versions out in these games as well. Clearly we want them. The next game is one that I can see being on my fall favorites cozy games lists for years to come, and it's Fall of Porcupine. So this is a story-based adventure platformer. It reminds me a lot of um, Night in the Woods in terms of the mixture of platformer and dialogue and kind of exploration. And it reflects on the kind of broken healthcare system. And I think one, that's a great topic. And then two, it is just so visually stunning. And aside from just a kind of serious topic. I think that this will be such a good game to put on in the fall, similar to Night in the Woods, where it's a serious topic. It's kind of serious subjects, serious themes, but something about it is just nice to be able to have a little somber moment, a little cozy moment in the fall with a very fall-esque game and a story you're ready to be touched by. I think that's lovely. This, unfortunately, is an unknown release, but it will be released on PC. The next game is Wholesome Out and About. This one is another one of my immediate favorites. It is a game where you are helping your grandma visiting her coastal town that has been just destroyed by a storm. And so you're kind of rebuilding this town, helping the townsfolk. You are foraging, cataloging the flora and fauna. You are gardening, you're cooking. It's just all the best cozy mechanics of a game wrapped into one cute little coastal village. I'm so excited. This is a 2023 release and it's coming out on PC, Switch, Xbox, and PlayStation. All the consoles we love it. The next is Hello Good Boy. This is another where just the animation style immediately drew me in. It kind of reminds me of Caillou and like children's cartoons, which I think is purposeful and very interesting given kind of the game context, which is that you are a young boy with his dog exploring the realm of the afterlife. And there's puzzles, it's story based. It just, it seems like it's probably gonna be really sad, but also really interesting and probably has some lighthearted moments as well. This is a 2022 release, also a demo now, and this will be released on PC. The next two are just updates. If you are up to date with the cozy games, you will be so excited about these. So Lemon Cake, which has previously only been on PC, is now being released on all consoles. Lemon Cake, I've talked about it before, I love it. It is like a gardening, farming, cafe, cooking sim all in one. I think it is a genius idea. I don't know why it hasn't really been done before, but it just combines all all of those elements in the 
cutest format and having it on Switch is gonna be amazing. I can't wait. So Lemon Cake is being released on all platforms in September of 2022. And then Calico. I love Calico so, so much. And they're coming out with a summer update. So there's gonna be mini game updates, like cooking mini game updates, character customization updates that look really, really extensive. Animal updates, so more animals you can find. And I love that. And yes, yeah, so the Calico update is just generally this summer. We'll see, I'm sure it'll come soon. All right, moving on to more game releases. Spirit Swap, which is a 2023 release coming out on PC. It is a matching game, very narrative driven. It's super diverse and it's queer. I just, you don't find a lot of games with this, this much diversity and identity and everything else. And it's also just visually stunning. There's also a demo on Steam now, if you wanna try it out. Mail Time. I can't believe I haven't talked about Mail Time on this channel yet that's wild to me but i've been excited about mail time for a while i think because i've seen so much hype everywhere else on like tiktok and instagram i've been like well everyone knows about mail time if you don't know about mail time it is a cottage core mail delivery game you're delivering mail to little forest animals you're a cute little mushroom girl it is just the most aesthetically cozy game i've seen in a while this is coming out in 2022 on pc and mac the next game is Tracks of Thought. In this game, you're a lost ladybug. It's dialogue-based, decision-based, card-based RPG. Again, this is one where the art style drew me in so quickly. It just, it's so unique and it's so cute. And it just looks like something you, like the quality of art you'd see in a cartoon, like in the absolute best way. The dialogue looks like it's just gonna be so interesting and cute. And I can't wait for this one. I'm, I'm gonna, I say I can't wait for every single one on this list. I can't wait, can you tell? I can't wait. The next game I'm excited about is Gaucho and the Grasslands. This game looked really interesting, really unique. It's centered around gaucho culture and you're returning to your familial homeland and trying to rebuild it. And so it's like a ranching, farming, kind of building sim. And it just looks so cute. And the, I love the animation style of it. The preview having like a little lasso element looked really, really fun. I haven't seen that in a game yet and I would love to try it. This is coming out on PC in 2022. Next is Little Bear Chef and this one is like TBD on everything. TBD on platforms, TBD on release date. There's really not even that much about the game. All I know it's a little bear in a big kitchen and the trailer is delightful. I can't wait. Next is Garden Witch Life. This is a game where you are moving into a abandoned witch's house and you're building up your garden to learn new potions and things like that. And you're befriending the townspeople and just looks adorable, wholesome, cozy, everything that we stand for in this community. Okay. It just looks, it looks so cute. And I love anything witchy. I love a witchy game. And this one looks like it delivers. This is coming out on PC and the release date is TBA. The next game is Usagi Shima. This is a bunny collecting game. Have you heard of that before? I have not. In this game, you decorate and care for an abandoned island to entice little bunnies, little bunny visitors to come stay at your island. Again, I'm gonna talk about the animation style. The art is just amazing, so unique, so cute and cozy. And this is coming out on Android, iOS, Switch, PC, PlayStation, and Xbox. It's coming out on like everything. So having it on the phone also would be nice. This will definitely be included in my mobile game lists in the future and it's coming out in 2023. Second to last is Coffee Talk 2 Hibiscus and Butterfly. This is a 2023 release coming out on all consoles and this is the second episode of the beloved coffee making simulation game. I've talked about this a lot so you know kind of what Coffee Talk is about but if you don't it's a coffee simulation game, coffee shop simulation game. You're serving customers, you're talking to them, you're learning their stories and then you're also just making cute little coffee drinks and it's seems like there's a lot more drinks in this episode so I'm really excited to try those out. And last but absolutely certainly not least is Love Ghosty. This is a TBA game coming out on PC so we don't know the release date. Hopefully it's soon. Hopefully it's within the next two years but you are a ghosty haunting a little mansion with a bunch of residents that you are trying to match make. Oh my god I think it's just the cutest concept and all the residents are like these cute little animals and you're trying to like give gifts and 
set them up and see if they connect and you're just trying to match them all up and I think that is so freaking cute. So that is all. Those are the games that caught my eye in the Wholesome Direct and the 2022 Wholesome Direct and I want to hear which games caught your eye, if you're wishlisting any, if you demoed any, if you're obsessed with them, if you're hoping one has a release date soon because you just can't wait, just let me know in the comments. I want to hear what you're excited about. I love the Wholesome Direct so much. I love what Wholesome Games is doing with the community, for the community. I'm so happy and grateful that I was able to participate this year and hopefully I can in the future as well. You will be hearing from me about these games. You'll be hearing updates. They'll be on lists. So be ready for that. I love y'all. Stay cozy. Bye.